just blew smoke everywhere. Yeah! What up, my Frederick puppet dog? Oh, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another one. Uh, Y'all haven't seen Frederick in a while. You want to go outside, Bear? Want to go? Go on. Go potty. All oh, two buddies. Yep. Got the two buddies here today. Frederick, uh, he's been at the trainer, and I will have an update video for y'all. Uh, you all know that he has hip dysplasia, and I've came up with a whole plan for my dog. Y'all have been asking a bunch, uh, so that video will be coming here, I don't know, in a few. But today, I haven't had my truck for over two weeks. It's been in the shop, and I'm going to blame it on P. Diddy. Hey. All, of you, all the time you bark and bob, you need to get your truck deleted. Oh, did you do it because of me? Yeah, well, I'm just going to blame it on you for the video, that's yeah. for sure. I'm going to actually blame it on you for the wife, too, because it's not cheap getting everything done that I'm getting done. I know. I know it's not. I did it all myself, and it was a nightmare. Oh, you did all of your, your truck Every yourself? last bit of it. When I when I did the one of the deals, I had to reroute the coolant lines, and I blew a coolant line driving down the street. My whole hood started smoking. And <laughs> I was a senior in high school. Oh man, I was freaking out. But it's a pain in the ass. If anybody else has done it, they know. Is it? Yeah. Man, I honestly okay. I'm just gonna be honest. We're gonna be headed to go get the truck. Um, man, it was completely stock. Long story short, my truck completely stock with the lift with the big wheels and tires. It just dogged it down. Now, uh, it's a Cummins. I love the Cummins, awesome power, but I just got sick of having to stand on it when I had a trailer. Uh, I think the, the final straw was when I went out back and I tried to do a kitty in the grass and it wouldn't even like break the tires loose. I had to, dude, why, I had to like- Why do you call it a kitty? Don't you call it a kitty? A donut? A donut or a kitty? You never called it a kitty? Never heard that. You yeah, never I called it a either. kitty? No. Seriously? I heard you say that earlier talking about the Sherp and I, and I knew what you meant, but I was like, what the hell is a kitty? Like doing kitties. I've never heard that. You've never done kitties? I've done plenty of kitties. I've never, just never heard of that. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, what? Maybe I'm old. I don't know. A kitty's, yeah, a burnout like a donut. Okay, this. If you guys still use the term doing kitties, drop a comment down below. Is this a, or it may, what? I feel like this, really, you've never heard it? I'm not messing with you. You never, you didn't even know who Steven Seagal was either. Oh. That was an issue. Anyways, we're gonna get on the road. Uh, I'm gonna have the mechanic, uh, my buddy Corey, over in Wichita, Kansas. He's the one that did all the work. She got a winch, she got a tuner, she got all kinds of goodies. I'm gonna shut it down here. We're gonna make the drive over, go pick her up and have Corey describe everything he did because she is gonna run like a striped, you know what. Uh -huh. And I made it uh, 10 millimeter heads because if you're out in the field, you're probably more likely to have a uh -huh. pliers or a crescent wrench or anything right. like that. So they're all- Oh, the top cover yes. to get down to the winch. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then the- uh, Oh, ho, ho, ho. Knowing you're crazy driving ass, we might have to use oh, that this season. Oh, you got a little thunder from down under now. Here's, here's the remote. Oh, oh, for the winch. Yes. So, so nice. whenever you want to use it, you just take the cover off. That pops into the top of it, oh. and then you can stand out there and winch. Oh, up. And it's okay. hooked up all the time. Gotcha. So if the truck is off or anything, you don't have to worry about having the truck running while you're using uh, it. It's always hooked up. Gotcha. And it's got a relay in there that shuts it off so that way it doesn't drain the battery. Okay. And this switch, that's what it was for. The winch. Yes, but they must have had some cheesely thing on there. Gotcha. So I, I you don't have to use that. It's, oh, so it's, it's always still it's, dead. It's, it's, it's still dead. Okay. It's always on. You don't have to use any of that's that. Sweet. So the cover comes off, that plugs yep. in. Yep. Yes, sir. And you completely control it from outside of the truck. Yes, sir. Exactly. Gotcha. It blows a little black smoke. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds way different. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. We got to see what Ollie did. All right. You got to tell the people. Give every. You got to give everybody your information. Sure. Where you're located, who you are. So sure. first off, before you do that, sure. this is Corey. He's one of Gerald's very, very, very close friends. Very good friend. How long have you and Gerald oh, been tight? Oh, probably about 
five, ten years now. Right. Quite, quite, quite a long time. Right. Quite a long time. And you own, tell them about the business. Advanced Diesel Performance. We're in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, we're open five days a week. If you look us up on Facebook, uh, Lubers Advanced Diesel Performance is where we're at. Uh, we have a TikTok page, at, uh, an Instagram page, Facebook page. Uh, we like to stay busy. Yes. And we do a lot of performance mods on pretty much anything Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Diesel. Diesel. We, we do performance, a lot of stuff too. But right. It's performance mods on diesel. And, dude, you got me in like two weeks. Yeah. You got me. He got me in and out fast. So. Yeah. All right. You're going to have to tell everybody what you did to her. Okay. First off, the winch. What a uh, size is a winch? 10,000 pounds. Oh my lordy. So it should pull anything you want to do. And you can see there's some stuff oh, yeah. that's, that's on there. There's some stuff that's not on there. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, so that's, that's done. And then the exhaust underneath. There's some stuff gone. Yeah. Yep, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff gone. <laughs> quite a bit of stuff gone. A lot of uh, weight, weight reduction stuff that's yep. gone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So is that from the header? Is that off the turbo? Uh, down pipe back. Down pipe back. Yep, down pipe back. Beauty. Five inch? Four inch. Four inch. Four inch. Uh, five inch. We usually don't do five inch unless it's guys wanting to do a lot of performance. Yeah. Four inch, if you got a family and a wife and kids and you're pulling a camper, it, it, it doesn't drone like five inch does. Right, I was kind of worried about that. Yeah. How, so how much horsepower do you think you added roughly? You can add whatever you want. <laughs> I've, I've put about 75 to 100 in it right now right you can turn it to 220 if you like holy so smoke. I'll, I'll give you all your codes and everything you need and you Beautiful. can do whatever you want oh. have a lot of fun if you guys are around wichita central kansas you haven't been able to find someone to work on your diesel tune it do anything you want to it performance wise and or just have it fixed get a hold of corey uh they do awesome work i will link corey and his business address phone number all down in the description he hooked me up big time and they do amazing work so if you're interested go down in the description click on the link check him out get a hold of him he's a great guy yeah we better turn the ac off huh for full power let her eat well i'm telling you what core is such a good guy here at advanced diesel performance dude he got you right in yeah uh preston has a duramax and what all do you need done glow plug slight rattle in the exhaust and an oil change while it's in there and he said he'll give him an hour and he'll have all that done i was like damn when we were coming down he's like man i wonder if he can get my truck in real quick uh i've been planning on bringing my my truck over here to corey at at advanced diesel performance because i've always heard great things um so it has a tuner on it he said i can crank it up to like 250 extra horsepower right now it's like at 100. i'm gonna pull out and see what, oh it sounds good it sounds really good it sounds bad yeah it sounds oh. really good <laughs> it's quiet enough too it's not that it's, whoa, 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 whoa. it's, it's not it's, just overbearingly loud yeah. Cummins can be really loud sometimes. If you put the five inches on them, like he said, yeah. they get obnoxious. Is that what you had on your old Cummins? Uh, the red one? Yeah. Oh, no, no, it just dumped. Like it just, it went like right Over in the front exhaust? of the, well, or, right, right front? Right in front of the axle. Like oh. it just dumped down. So it just echoed under the bed probably. Oh my God, yeah. you always smelt it. If the wind was from behind you and you had your windows down. <laughs> EGR out. Sure. Oh my god. So that the original tune hours. that he had in it was plus 75 and we just got done driving it. We kind of got my reaction. And it's not a it's not a hot hot tune, sure. but I could tell that the truck ran just, better. Oh, it just easy going. Sure. Didn't breathe hard. Sure. Now what tune are you One, doing? 150 oh. and we're turning the <laughs> pressure up on the transmission too. So, so it's going to shift harder. Harder, yeah. And, and have 150 should, horse. Yeah, should run a lot better. A lot better than what it did before. So, so this is called an Easy Link. You just use your phone, and you don't have the monitor up on the dash. Yep. It it turns your phone into your monitor. All your gauges and uh, PIDs and everything that you want to watch yeah. uh, is on your phone, and I'll show you how to do that. Dude, I'm real. It's pretty slick. Thank you, brother. Of course, no problem. <laughs> well, we just put the 150 in it. <laughs> Corey goes, when you leave, make sure you get on it a little bit. He wants to see your rip. So that's what we gonna do, boys and gals. Just like that, click of a button on the phone, you can turn up your truck to 150 extra horsepower. Crazy. Uh, wanna again give a huge shout out to Corey. 
Uh, his shop is amazing here, does amazing work. Uh, if you guys got a diesel, if you want to do anything like I did, you want to get some more out of your truck, better fuel mileage, better this, better that. Here we go. <laughs> I just blew smoke everywhere. I just rolled a big old cloud of black. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go home and have Beth film this. It's, this is hilarious. That sucker straight up scoots. I mean, she just scoots, boys. There ain't nothing more to it. She, she shits and gets. <laughs> Uh-oh, here's old P. Diddy. There he is. His truck, he's got a uh, Duramax, and that sucker, it's deleted and it scoots. I was gonna try to, I was gonna try to mess with him if we can get up beside him. Oh, here he is. Come here, come here, P Diddy. Where are you going? Watch. I'll give him a little bit of black cloud in his face, though, at least. <laughs> That thing run, dude, a lot. Dude, that, it shits again. Yeah, it moves. That chick that was walking, she flipped me off when I went what back by. <laughs> <laughs> I must have dusted her out pretty bad. Uh oh, look, he's gonna nail it. <laughs> you ready, bub? Did you hear when I pulled in? Did no. you hear the daddy's truck when I pulled in the driveway? Mm -mm. You didn't. Come here. You ready to hear it? Mm -hmm. It's a lot louder than it was. Ready? Oh, you don't have to... Oh, isn't that cool? Come look at the tailpipe, Bubba. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, that's one bad boy truck now. <laughs> Doesn't that sound cool? Ooh. We'll have to get a little engine no more. Yeah, we don't have a little engine no more. We got a fast one now, don't we, Bub? We got a big engine. Yeah, we got a big engine. I just got home. It's about an hour drive home on the highway, 75. Entirely different truck. And I mean it, entirely different truck. Just the way she drives in town, especially on the highway. Oh man, it's a dream. Low RPMs. I remember uh, before I got it done, um, even without a trailer on, you know, I try to increase three to five mile per hour on the cruise control and it automatically want to downshift and speed up. Not now. It stays at like 12, 1300 RPM and just goes, oh, oh man. Corey was like, you're going to love uh, the new gas mileage. Right now we got her on the hot tune like Corey did. You seen it all. This is the easy link system using my phone. It's an awesome system. Uh, it doesn't have the monitor up here like y'all probably used to. It's on my phone. Easy Link is all on your phone. You control it with an app, Wi-Fi. It's awesome. It's actually this little unit down here um, hooks. It links through Wi-Fi to my phone, and I can change everything on the fly on my phone. Awesome system. I love my truck that much more now. <laughs> Not kidding. Uh, she's a beauty, and boy does she roll some coal. Woo. <laughs> it is hot, boys and gals. Ah, so hot that uh, I said, forget it. We're going. Uh-huh. I got the unit hooked up, ready to go. I actually took it to the lake yesterday, and it pulled like a dream. Uh, before I had the truck tuned and everything, this boat's big. She is a big girl. And uh, you obviously knew it was back there. Now, you really don't even know it's back there, you know? Uh, again, big shout out to Corey at Advanced Diesel Performance. Thank you, brother, hooking me up. Uh, literally got me in and out of there. Uh, I think he's pretty, he said that he is 
pretty booked up right now, but anybody that comes through, he always tries to get you in as fast as he can. Again, thank you, Corey. Uh, if you guys need any work done, I highly recommend Corey to work on your diesel, honestly. If you're from Kansas and around the area, uh, check him out. But <sighs> I'm in love with the truck. I was actually thinking about trading it in on something brand new uh, about a month ago. And I put new tires on it. I haven't showed you that. Put brand new meats on it. I love these uh, Ridge Grapplers. Uh, these are 37, uh, 1350s, man. 22s. They go 22s. If you can imagine, they weren't cheap. Uh, but when I put tires on it, I'm like, God, I love the truck. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm doing everything I want to, and I'm going to keep it forever. So that's the plan. Can't wait to get to use the winch. But thank you all for being here. Uh, if you like the truck uh, videos, let me know. Maybe we'll go out back and romp and stomp around. And if you have any suggestions of anything that I need to do else to the truck, performance-wise, accessories, drop a comment down below. There's a lot of you guys that have had uh, performance diesels and diesels in general a lot longer than I have, and you've got your hands dirty and done more things, so you know more. Let me know what I should do. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Why don't you guys uh, hit that notification bell on there? There's like 53% of y'all or more uh, that have not hit that. Do it. Thanks. <laughs> I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.